What do I make of you? Perfect. Yes, broskies, it's Erkin back here with another video. And it is a sneaker I wasn't intending to actually get on the channel. But by popular demand on today's episode, we are reviewing the Nike Air Max Genome. Gnome, Genome, Gnome, Gnome, no Gnome, it's not Gnome, it's where gnomes are those little things in the garden. So where do I start with this silhouette? It isn't the most popular or hyped sneaker, that is very evident, but it is a new Nike Air Max sneaker and for that price at £150, it was only right I had a look at this shoe. So these did release of course here in the UK on the 8th of April this year. And like I've said, the retail price was £150. Now these are pretty much sitting at most of the retailers that I've seen anyway. I picked these up from JD, but I've seen a lot of stock in Foot Locker as well. And I kind of feel like it's because of the colorway, it doesn't really grab your attention straight away. I'm kind of interested to see if there is an all white colorway or some even darker earthy toned colors. And before we waffle on anymore, let's have a little butcher's hook at the box. It does come in your red standard Nike one, but it also comes with the tab as well that lets us know it is made from 20% recycled material, which is of course Nike's move to zero initiative. And the product sticker on the side does read, Air Max Genome, and the official colorway is light smoke gray and iron gray. Now there are some blog sites that are calling this sneaker the bright mango colorway as well. But for me, it looks more like a watermelon, if anything. Now Nike are claiming that this sneaker is inspired by the early 2000s silhouettes. And when I saw this Air Max straight away, I thought of the Air Max 2015. It's got a very similar shape and of course the same sort of setup. Now I did post this sneaker on my community tab asking what people thought of this with of course a purchase link as well. And a quick sidebar, a purchase link will be down below also but it was a very mixed bag and I don't really blame you a lot of people trashed this sneaker saying no way Jose some people even called it a dad shoe and I kind of can see where they're coming from but then some people were like you know what that's not too bad but I'd rather wait for other colorways and I'm defo with them on that one but you know what let's have a closer look at this sneaker before we make any more judgments and straight away on the upper it does grab your attention for all the right reasons in my opinion Yes, the colorway isn't my cup of tea straight away, I can already say that. But the materials used on this sneaker does make it very, very enjoyable on foot. Towards the front of the silhouette where the toe box does sit, it's got that nylon texture to it and it's very, very flexible. And the lateral side, we can see we've got that Nike swoosh in dark gray, which for some odd reason does look like it's been cropped. And I'm not really a fan of how they've done that, but it is what it is. And on the medial side, we've got that Nike swoosh stitched in towards the back. The mid panels do consist of this sort of crossed look to it with this soft fabric that does look actually recycled, which do of course have ventilation holes for the breathability. Now making our ways to the laces is very standard in my opinion, but where things really stand out to me is of course this tongue. It's got this honeycomb cotton mesh look to it and the way it sits on foot is very, very comfortable. But just like the rest of the shoe, it's got a combination of that dark gray with that light smoke gray, which in my eyes, does look like this pink salmon color but we've got the air max branding on the tongue with the nike swoosh on top and the sock liner again it's got that same sort of format in terms of the color and the patterns but on the insole it's that pink salmon color with the nike air max branding in gray now this sporty look to the hill counter is right up my alley it's got the air max pull tab at the back with the nike swoosh just below it now making our ways to this white midsole and it's nothing really to scream about but where things really take over is of course that full length air unit and we're going to touch on more on that later and making our ways to the outsole it has a very unique design to say the least it's got that pink salmon color towards the back and the front of the outsole with the grays more so towards the middle with the air max branding at the back 
Ah, this colorway is just not it for me, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. There we have it, my broskies. I know, I know. I did warn you, it is a mixed bag. Now in terms of the sizing, it does very much fit true to size in my experience. One thing I did find though, it does narrow off towards the mid panels of the sneaker, just because of how the shape of the silhouette actually is. And if you are someone that does have wide feet, I would say go half a size up. I feel if you went one size up, the length of the sneaker might be a bit too much for you. And also these sneakers might stretch out over time because of the light materials on the upper. But overall, in my experience, these were true to size. Now, one thing I have to mention straight away, I have to mention this. One of the downsides to the silhouette was the heel to toe transition. It was very weird. Like I've never had this experience, not even on the Air Max 720. And that Air Max unit was humongous. But it's literally as you're stepping on the sneaker, it's like it touches the back of it, then it's straight into the toe. It feels like there's no mid sections to this air unit. And I've never really had this problem before. Yes, kind of like the Air Max 97 and the 98, but never on this level. So that's just one thing I did find straight away when trying these on. Now, like I've said, I am really hoping there are some other colorways in the pipeline for this sneaker. In my opinion, I just think this launch colorway didn't really bring any traction to this sneaker. But they've done this with so many other Air Maxes in the past anyway. The likes of the 270, the 720 and all of the recent sneakers to come out. They bring out sort of mediocre colorways to launch the sneaker and then over time, they bring out those bangers. Whether it's the triple black version, the all white version, or some wacky collaborations. I've sort of gotten used to Nike doing this with the Air Max sneakers. But with all that waffle out the way, I still have to decide whether this sneaker is a buy or a buy. Now, I'll be honest, I am very disappointed in my first initial thoughts with the sneaker. The feel and thought is not uncomfortable by any means, but it just doesn't grab my attention. I'm just so used to having Air Max sneakers that are very, very comfortable straight out the box. And this just isn't it. That weird transition from the heel to the toe is very, very noticeable. And for me, it's a real turn off. Not to mention this specific colorway. It just doesn't grab me at all. But there are a few things I really do like about the sneaker. It does have that that sporty aesthetic to it. And the materials on the upper are really, really nice and snug on foot. But if I have to weigh up the pros versus the cons, I'm gonna have to give this one a buy. It's just a sneaker I don't really see myself ever wearing, especially in this colorway anyway. And for that price at 150 pounds, I can see these going on sale very, very quickly. There are so many other silhouettes you can actually grab at that price. The likes of the Air Max 95, the 90, the 97, the 98, the list could go on. But broskies, I'm interested to know what you think about this sneaker. Are you looking to grab yourself a pair of these? Are you going to be waiting for more colorways just like I am? Or is this a total miss? Leave it all down below and I will be pinning the best comments. But anyways broskies, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting as always. If you have any questions, then hit me up on my IG because I'm most active on there. But don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And of course, until the next video, take care.